What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and we're just going to do a quick walkthrough through the different setting options in Tizen 4 and see if there's any difference from the old Tizen 3. A lot of us have been waiting for that. Now Bixby has been included. If you want to see my video on Bixby, check out the card that just popped up as well as in the link that below. But Bixby is new on the Galaxy Watch. Now I don't know if that'll make it over to the other devices when and if we do get Tizen 4. But right now let's take a look at what we actually have and see what features are different. Right off the bat, you'll notice there's something new. Did you catch it? Maybe you didn't. But now we have integrated weather readings on the actual watch face. And this is something that I've been wanting for a long, long time. Before you just had a shortcut to weather and you'd have to click on it and that would tell you what your weather was. Now with integrated weather readings, that'll change the whole watch face game. And I'm really looking forward to getting more watch faces that include the actual readout for your temperature. Now I'm hoping this also means we get integrated altimeter and barometer readings into watch faces as well. I think those three stats would make for an awesome watch face. So developers, if you're listening, write to Samsung or email me, let me know if that's possible with Tizen 4. But it would be super cool to see your altimeter, your barometer, and your temperature reading all on the same watch face. At least in my opinion, let me know what you guys think about that. Moving on, the widgets are pretty much the same. You have your weather widget. You have your app shortcut widget here. You also have your S Health widget all in one. So you see all your vital information at a glance. Moving on, you have your contacts. You also have your reminder. You have your calendar. Now this is something new. This is your stress readout. So if you don't know if you're stressed or not, this watch is for you. It'll let you know right away if you're stressed. And if you are stressed, it'll tell you you have to go breathe. So that's technology for you guys. We now have a stress widget. There's also the workout widget here. We've had that before. There's the music controller and then your news briefing as well as the altimeter barometer widget. And then of course you can add some and there's a whole bunch here. Pretty much most of them are already included by default, but there's a whole bunch of Samsung health ones if you're interested in that one. But then there's a new sleep tracking widget as well. So let's just take a look and the world clock. So that's basically it for the widgets. Bringing down the notification shade You'll see that there is a new icon and that's this theater mode. Before we had the do not disturb and if you clicked on that, that was for a predetermined amount of time and it would turn everything off for alarms. But now we have theater mode and that turns off the alarms and turns everything completely off until you turn the watch back on. So now we have two options for a way not to disturb you. You have the do not disturb and then you have the theater mode. The next option that we had here, and if you are outside, if you click on the brightness level, it actually will turn on full brightness mode. It'll give you a few seconds where the screen is on full brightness, just so that you can see what you need to see in the sunlight. Now that's not activated because I'm not outside, but when you don't have it activated, you still can adjust the slider and change the brightness on your watch. And then if you edit these settings, you can add and change a few more. So looking at Tizen 4, you have an option for Bluetooth headset. We didn't have that on the old one. Now let me just do that right here. We only had about five or six. Moving on, you have battery management. Find my phone, which was not here before. That's a good shortcut to have. You have this good night mode. And basically what good night mode does, it keeps everything silent while you're sleeping. It's location, NFC, your music, sound mode, touch sensitivity, always on mode. And of course now you have this water lock mode. That wasn't here before. So really you have a few more quick options here if you want to and the Bluetooth settings option might actually be pretty useful for those of you that connect Bluetooth headphones to this watch. And that's a look at the quick settings. Now let's actually go into the settings and see if there's anything different. You have your watch faces, your always on mode. And now this is something new here. You have an hourly chime. So this is going to act like your old Casio watches and just give you a little beep at every hour. Nothing else is new in that one. Sound and vibration, that's still about the same. Nothing's really new here. That's pretty much the same. If we go to display, you have the brightness always on, you scream timeout. And this is pretty cool too. Now you have a background style. This was not in the old Tizen 3. So clicking on that, but you have different options here. So let me assign that one. And what that basically means is when you're circling through your apps, you can see it has a little design there. 
So just something new, something a little, little more to customize your watch with. And let me change it to something different so you can see it. Background style. Let me change it to that one. So now when you open up the apps, you see you have the background style there. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we can add our own customizable photo in the future. That would be pretty awesome to see. Now if we go to advanced, there's really nothing new here. It's pretty much the same. That's the good night mode I was talking about now. So when you are sleeping, this will stop any alerts from coming through on your watch. I'm assuming this means if you actually wear it for sleep tracking, which I do not, but if you do, this is a good option to have. Now you have screen capture. So if you want to capture what's on your screen, it'll actually do that for you and save it to your gallery. And then you have connections, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. Nothing new here. Let's see if there's anything new in apps. Nothing really new. Battery. That's still the same. So really guys, there are a few different changes on the outside of the software update. A lot of it is done on the inside, so it should be a lot more efficient. But this is just a quick walkthrough of Tizen 4.0. Let me know if you have any questions. But I'm really excited just because it is an under the hood type of update with a few visual cues as well. So I do like that and a few new features as well. That's always a plus. But let me know what you guys think and I appreciate you watching. Catch you guys in another video.